Scopos is the Greek word for aim or purpose. Listen to this edition of Scopos as Dr. Brett Larson helps apply the purposes of Scripture to our daily lives. John Quincy Adams once said, duty is ours, results are God's. We've often heard this put another way in the church, work like it all depends on you, pray like it all depends on God. Regardless of the quote, the point is that we as Christians are to be active players in the world around us. We are to influence, to guide, to lead, and to provide biblical insight into culture. I'm guessing that you're wondering if the Bible supports such an active position. We can look at a few examples out of dozens. Let's begin with Esther. Yes, Esther was brave in bringing her issue to the king, but let's back up in the story. Esther was able to confront the king because she chose through God's providence to become part of the kingdom and to be in the game in the first place. How about John the Baptist? He knew he would likely be killed for confronting Herod for his sin, yet he did it anyway because it was the right thing to do. John confronted sin in government head on and with boldness to the point where it got him killed. Look at the apostles who used the public square to reason and debate the truth of the gospel. We are called to be in the world, to be examples as we go and to allow our biblical worldview to permeate all of life. There's almost a monistic type trend in the church today. It's a sense that bringing Christian perspectives to secular institutions or to the political sphere is somehow harmful to the purity of the gospel. Of course, like many subtle ideological shifts today, it isn't said that way. Rather, it's framed in a sort of higher-minded sense of God's sovereignty, almost thumbing its nose at the trenches of modern Christian-influenced public policy debate. In some circles, it takes the defeatist approach that the battle is already lost, so it's time to focus only on that which we determine to be missional in concept. But this takes a very narrow perspective on the holistic nature of the gospel. As you might guess, I disagree with this perspective. I think there is no better time for the church to engage in culture and the political than now. Christians should be debating, of course, respectfully and preparedly, everywhere there is a chance to do so. This involves knowledge of issues and how they relate to Scripture. It involves studying to show ourselves approved. It involves the ability to give a reason. And it involves actions. Lazy Christians need not apply. Perhaps that is the source of our problems in North America, a discipleship crisis that has crippled our ability to speak winsomely and logically on the matters of the day. Perhaps Perhaps the church's unprepared positioning is why our message appears irrelevant and antagonistic. Biblical Christianity provides for the most rational, logical, and effective answers to all of today's issues. But we need to do the hard work of abiding and discipleship. Maybe we've forgotten that our duty is the hard work of comprehensive Christian engagement and the results are solely God's. Thanks for listening to Scopos. We hope it challenges you to pursue Christ and dig deeper into God's Word. Check out Scopos online at WDCXradio.com.